Hi guys, welcome back. I have this little mold here. It holds three ounces, but I don't usually fill it when I make it. I only do probably half. But as you can see inside, it's got this little indentation that says blessed. And I was mixing up some resin for another project and I had left over. So I figured I'm going to pour this one. I'm not really going to pour this one with the blue. What I'm going to do is use this blue to get it into these letters. And then when it cures, I'm going to pour over it a different color. So I was just going to show you how I do that. And I'm going to use this little silicone tool here and get some resin on there and just kind of push it into all the letters. Even if you get some on the outside, it usually finds its way into the groove if you work it enough and then you don't really have any cleanup. It does take some time. So you do have to be patient, but it's well worth it in the end. Let me show you a couple that I have already done so you know what to expect. So real quick, these are what they come out looking like when you add another color in. So this one had the blue and I added pink, and then this one is purple with white and glitter. So if you just take your time and get it into there and you let them cure, then you'll have a really cool piece. So let's get some of this in here and let it get going curing and then we'll fill it up with another color tomorrow. So just keep an eye on it for, I don't know, 20 minutes. And if anything kind of separates as it, you know, starts drying, just fill it in with a little bit more. And um, it should be fine. I haven't had a problem yet. So on this one here, it did get overfilled. So I just wiped it off with a little bit of the other part of my silicone this side and put it on a paper towel. Or you could dab it with a paper towel and then fill it in again. So my microphone was off and you can't hear anything I'm saying. So I'm going to do a voiceover. Sorry about that, guys. So if it's off a little bit, that's what's going on. So this is all dry and cured overnight. And I have um, some resin here, about two and a half ounces of re resin I'm going to use. Now, I was trying to think of a color to use. And the one that's most popular, believe it or not, is sparkle. So I'm just going to add this holographic glitter 
to it and just pour it right over this blessed word and it'll come right off with the um with the resin when it's dried and then we can top coat it after that. So here we go. All right, guys, everything is cured. I did demold it uh, because, you know, I don't like to struggle on camera, but it's facing down. The extra that I made, I got this cute little mold from Timu, and I usually buy these little things to display certain items, and then I saw this one. This is kind of small. It's not as big as I would like, but it's one of those display uh, racks. I don't know. You could put, like, a little coaster or whatever on it, so I decided to use the extra for that and they just go together like this and then you can just use a little whatever you want to display on it so instead of buying them if I need small ones I'll just make them myself okay so this one don't be shocked when you see the other side because for some reason this is the only mold that does this and I freaked out the first time I saw it but we're gonna fix it I know you don't see the glitter. It just looks like white sand. But that's okay because all we have to do is put a top coat on and it's all going to come back to life. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to raise it up off the countertop. And I've already mixed up some resin. But I think it came out good. There's nothing wrong at all on the word. And you can see it clearly. So I'm pretty happy with the results. But I don't understand why this mold does that. It's the only mold that I have that doesn't allow the glitter to shine. But as you can see, it's like magic. It's coming right back. I mean, the mold's not like dull or anything. So I, I don't, I really don't, I can't explain it. So I always, always have to top coat my crosses. No matter what I do with them, they get top coated. So I'll just take this opportunity to thank you all for joining me today. If you haven't done so, please subscribe if you're liking what you're seeing so I can keep making you guys tutorials. That will definitely help. I'm almost to uh, my first thousand subscribers. So thank you to every one of you that keep coming back. I hope you are liking what you're seeing. Please give me any suggestions. I read all my comments. I take all suggestions. Um, I'm not too proud, that's for sure, because I'm just a nobody out here. Trying to give you guys a little bit of help. Usually, I'm learning lessons with you. But sometimes, I really do know what I'm doing. <laughs> So as you can see, it's going to be gorgeous. So I will take pictures, as usual, at the end. So stay tuned for those. And yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. It did not take a whole ounce. Obviously, I have extra. So I will, maybe I will color it and put it in the cross again for another one. It barely takes any. If you're going to put that word in, you don't need hardly anything. So I will set that aside. I will torch it since there's no mold. Pop all the bubbles. 
and we will let this cure and get you some pictures. Thank you guys. I hope you have a blessed day. See you later. Bye-bye.